This is a quick fix tutorial where I'm focusing only on difficult sections in the piece, applying only those principles that don't require sound imagination skills and will quickly ease your playing, making technique more comfortable and fluent. These basic principles are wrist movement, elbow movement, intonation, arm weight, articulations, phrasing and time. If you've been playing this piece for quite a while, keep in mind that all these principles won't work at full potential, as all sensations might interfere with new ones. Yet they will ease your playing as much as possible in your current situation. This is just a basic fix to let you feel more comfortable while playing, and since we're not imagining sounds, we're not making any harmonies, dynamics or voice and nuances in this tutorial. And feel free to leave your request in the comment section below. So now let's get started. Match the wrist movement with the known direction. Move gently without any tension. At the last stage of practicing, this movement will be remained in muscle sensations only and won't be visible to the eyes. This will keep your wrist tension free. And a missing fingering in the score before starting playing. While the wrist movement is matching the known direction, the elbow is moving towards the new position on a circle note. This will release tension in hands and improve speed and accuracy in leaps. And as usually, we're gonna play on the stage with no tension in hand, with no um, forcing of the sound. And you will notice when I start playing with wrist movement that I kind of have to let go of my uh, lower fingers if I want to move it, which is okay because um, first of all we want to keep our hand not stretched, closed to sustain the freedom while playing. And second, when you're gonna play in a fast tempo with the pedal, nobody, I, I'm telling you, nobody will notice it. So, and third of all, it kind of will benefit to your voicing. So it, it's kind of cool. <laughs> so don't be afraid to let go of the um, bottom fingers. Sing in between notes with a glissando and resistance. Keep the same sensation while singing out loud only notes. Oh, 
while playing, keep singing the same way internally. It is possible to sing the same way while playing fast passages. Internally sing with the energy of weight. This is how it sounds without weight versus with weight. Such singing will sustain transferring of weight while playing, bringing more freedom and power to your voice and hands. Even in this tempo, I already feel that some uh, turns are not secure. So here, towards this third finger, I don't feel comfortable at all. So I'm going to use better elbow and musical speech between D flat and A flat. So I'm going to intonate this interval with musical speech as fourth down. This way. Ability to feel a difference in singing different intervals will let us pre-feel through intonation the distance of every interval much more accurately. That helps mind and hands to faster prepare to the intervals. As I have said before many times, if we can't feel fast while playing, we're not ready to play fast. Feel the difference in sound while singing with intonation these intervals. Every time I go to my fourth finger, I also don't feel stable, so I'm going to use musical speech as well. On the third down, third down, third down. That will prepare my finger better, so... Phrasing is a structured intonation, breathing, where smaller blocks with more prominent sections are united into larger blocks with more prominent sections. Use intonation and weight in phrasing to make energetic crescendo towards more prominent sections and blocks.
while practicing phrasing, take a little break, a breath after every block and slow down towards the main interval in a motif, the main motif in a phrase, and the main phrase in a sentence. Now, after we fix this, let's go on to uh, motifs. This is so crazy. Okay, also, this unison to prepare my first finger. Too fast. Okay, um, let's go to ten. Time and tempo mean more than just the speed of music, it's a part of the character of music. After choosing the pulsation, connect time to the musical image of the piece, and if the image of music is joyful, feel and describe the pulse not as just slow, but calm and peaceful, not just faster, but lively and exciting, not just fast, but energetic and bright. Feel time while playing always following a phrasing line to sustain the flow of playing. So now we're gonna go to time and I'm gonna pulse it by every quarter and I'm gonna start with a slow, beautiful, chill time. I think that's my fastest for now, uh, so yeah, that's how you work on this.
Articulations are the variant of intonation, where the principle of singing internally in between notes with a glissando resistance remains the same. In every type of articulations, the first part of the interval is sung with resistance, but the second part is varied. In staccato, extremely accelerate the speed. In tenuta, move fully down with weight. In accents, mix staccato and tenuta, bring speed and weight at the same time. Now breathe articulation right away. Stable towards my base, I'm gonna intonate better with musical speech. And let's say from D to A, fourth down, then from A to D, fifth down, and then two down. Let's see. Okay, let's go by motif. Let's go in a slow, calm time. 